starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Shah Mamid and welcome to my YouTube channel Computer Nerdic Zone. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about different generations of computer. Computer generations refer to the advancements of computer technology and with the advancements of computer technology efficiency speed power and the memory of the computers have immensely increased based on these phenomena the computer scientists have divided the history of computers into five generations and let's start and discuss these five generations in detail So we have five generations of computers. First generations from 1946 to 1958, known as vacuum tube. Second generation, 1959 to 1964, transistors era. Third generation, 1965 to 1970, integrated circuits or ICs. Fourth generation, 1971 till present, microprocessors. And the fifth generation, is present or in future is artificial intelligence now let's discuss about first generation the vacuum tubes were used as a basic components for the memory for CPU in the first generations in the first generations these computer systems were very very large and that's why they were very expensive and the lo very large organizations were able to afford those systems batch processing system were used in the first generation of the computers magnetic tape and the paper tape were used was used as input and output devices and there was a, one of the most important point is that the machine language was used as a programming language so machine language was used to program the, these vacuum tubes you can clearly see in the picture it's a very very huge system and mostly occupies you know very large space so the very first generations in the very first generation the computer systems were very 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 large so we have few examples of the first generation first is INEC electronic numerical integrator and computer second is UNIVAC IBM 650 and IBM 701 second generation the second generations of the computer starts from 1959 to 1964 and that was known as transistors era so transistors basically replaced vacuum tubes and were used in the second generation of computers so what actually is a transistor transistor is a device that basically composed of a semiconductor material or you can say that is a it is a semiconductor device and that was invented at Bell Labs in 1947 the transistors were more smaller reliable and faster than vacuum tubes and one transistor replaced about 40 vacuums Tube. so that was in the advancement and assembly language which is, which is a low level language programming language was used to code these transistors so it's it is a it was it's what a, you know very very um, helpful for the computer programmers um, because of the assembly language you know which allows the programmers to specify instructions in word 
assembly language is all about the words so which was quite helpful for the programmers so you can see the picture on your left so these are the transistors devices now the third generation <coughs> third generation belongs to the integrated circuits or you can say that IC ICs are a place on a silicon chip called semiconductor and integrated circuits was invented by Jack Kelvey the, the development of the integrated circuits was the major breakthrough of the third generations of computer now it helps uh, to have a very systems that have that are high in speed and are high in efficiency and integrated circuits has many resistors capacitors and transistors the size of this generation computers was smaller than the size of second generation computers So the ICs was were very very helpful because it reduced cost and the size of the computers. In third generation, high level programming languages were used, and we have few examples here like Pascal, Cobol, Algol 68. So these were the programming languages that were used to code integrated circuits so these ICs could carry out instructions in billions of the second so they were very 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 fast as compared to the first generation and the second generation so this is a kind of advancement in the technology in the computer technology uh, that we are discussing first we have systems that was quite big quite big uh, quite large you know it's occupied the space um, large space major, major you can say that a whole whole room or a whole building then second generation came and then third generation came they were getting smaller and smaller and they were getting more efficient and becoming lesser in size now the fourth generation Four generation starts from 1971 till present and that's known as microprocessors era the fourth generation of the computer like I have already said belongs to the microprocessors and the microprocessor has thousands of the ICs they were built onto single silicon chip one of the great examples of the microprocessors or the personal computers you can say the inventions of the personal computers was major breakthrough in this generations of computer and the computer in just in this generations are portable you know you can take them from one side one place to another place is up uh, as per your age so it is also available to the common people uh, we have already discussed uh, about the first generation computers there was uh, there was only available to the large organizations uh, that can afford uh, those systems but in microprocessors it, it it is available to the common people now people mostly have uh, different personal computers or microcomputers at their homes offices or any workplace so this generation computers also brought the development of graphical user interface you know in the past in the first or second or third generation we have computers in the black and white now you can clearly see a different graphical user interfaces or interactive interfaces interactive screens and the mouse etc these are all the blessings of the four generations of computer now when we have small devices when we have small 
micro computers or a personal computers so the scientists the computer scientists they have an idea they had an idea that how we can link those small devices in the form of network and that led lead to the development of in the internet that's where the internet concept came from so that's that's a huge hallmark in the computer in the history of the computers the fifth generation that is also the present gen generation or in future the future of the computer is all about the artificial intelligence the robots and other intelligence systems belong to this generation you know these robots and or intelligence systems are the you know they are just taking over the whole labor work as well so they have been used uh, in every almost in every industry nowadays so these artificial intelligence or robotics you can say is just take has took the whole world into storm so very high languages high level languages are used to code or to program these um, you know these intelligent systems uh, such as C, C language, C++, Java, C sharp these all high, langu high level languages belong to this generation so the fifth generation also use ULA ULSI technology that is ultra large scale integration technology so the major objective of the fifth generation computing is to develop devices or such devices that respond to the natural language input and are capable of learning and self organizations so we have some examples we have reports we have desktop computers we have laptops we have notebooks these are all the examples and the blessings of the fifth generation of computer so that's all about today if you have any question you can ask in the comment section and I will respond and you haven't if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe to my channel and as well as click on the bell icon so that you can see or watch my upcoming videos regarding different computer science concepts.